Today we are going to take our knowledge of characters a little bit deeper and we are going to focus on character development. Now you might be asking yourself, why is there a caterpillar on my computer screen? And that would be a great question. As we talk about development, I hope that you will figure out the answer to that question. So let's start with what does development mean? We know that the characters are the people or animals in our stories, but what does it mean when we say character development? Well, to develop means to grow or change. When a character develops, they might become more mature, they might change how they behave, or they might see the world differently. You can think of development like the change that a butterfly goes through. It starts out as an egg, and then as it develops, as it grows and changes, it becomes a butter or a caterpillar. And then it goes from being a caterpillar to forming a chrysalis. And then from there, it develops into a butterfly. It grows and changes. Much like the caterpillar going from an egg to a caterpillar to a chrysalis to a butterfly, characters in our stories, in our novels, and in TV, show, TV shows grow and change they go through what we call character development. Now you're gonna be tasked with figuring out how a character has developed. Sometimes they'll say, how has the character grown? How has the character changed? What is the character development? The strategy for that is to find a major event, like a big thing that would be going on your plot map because it's so important, and to ask yourself, what was the character's response? How did the character respond to this major event? Let's try one of those out now. I'm setting up a chart where I have the major event and then a spot where we can write the character's response. And we're going to look at it in different parts of the story. We have the beginning and the middle and the end. So let's think about how characters change throughout a text. Let's talk about Hatchet and think about things that were a big deal in the beginning. In the beginning, a major event was when Brian's plane crashed. And we can think about how did he respond? What did he do? Well, if you look back in the text, he cried a lot. He ate things that were bad for him. And all he could think about was getting rescued. Our big event and Brian's response shows me a lot about his character in the beginning. In the beginning, he was scared and he didn't know what to do. Let's see if in the next major event, he is still scared and doesn't know what to do, or if he's changed, if his character has had a development. Aha, here in the middle, we have an event we just read about. Brian realizes that he needs to eat meat, so he tries to catch fish and birds. That was a big event for Brian. And in this part of the story, he's unsuccessful at first, but then he figures out how to catch fish and birds with his bow and arrows and also with the spear that he created. He uses his new survival skills. Do you notice how Brian didn't just cry a lot that he was hungry and didn't just eat things that were bad for him and focus on getting rescued? He had a different response in the middle. He's changed. Now he doesn't give up and he keeps trying. Now, right now we have a blank box at the end because we haven't finished the book. At this point in Hatchet, we are able to see how Brian is developing, but he's not done yet. We have the beginning and the middle, but we're going to keep an eye out for how Brian has changed by the end. After we do that, there we go, we can put all of it together to make a claim. After I have thought, what's a major event? and what's my character's response, and looked at different points in the story, I can make a claim. A claim is like a statement. It's like an answer to a question. So if somebody asks, how has Brian developed over the course of Hatchet? We could say, in the beginning of the novel, Brian was very scared in the wilderness and didn't know how to take care of himself. But now in the story, he has survival skills and uses them to get meat. We can show how he was in the beginning and how he is now. On the next slide, I'm going to ask you to think about Elijah's responses in the story Shades of Silence.
how has his character developed over the course of the passage?